With businesses going through so many changes, PwC's Robert Byrne spoke to Silicon Republic about the challenges facing CIOs. So what does it mean to be technologically resilient right now? I think if we look forward, I think technological resilience really relates to helping the business to be resilient. And again, talking about the uncertainty of everything that, that lies ahead of us, there's some big changes I think that are needed that organizations need to face into right now. Maybe programs to reshore technology services that might be offshore in other territories that aren't as well equipped to deal with the, the risks related to COVID. Um, I think enabling the business to have other routes to market. Um, it's been said that nothing has done more for the digital agenda than COVID-19. And I think there's something in that. I think to build upon that and to to really push the digital agenda and enable the organization to thrive when we all emerge from this, uh, I think that's where the technological resilience question really comes in. What should CIOs be thinking about in terms of IT change management? There's a very real need to have a, a strong ability to understand the overall change agenda, to be able to prioritize what is truly important in the in the short term, but also on the strategic front. And I think what's most important is to leave room within your IT delivery capacity to be able to react with agility to the short term and um, must do changes, but also not lose sight of the strategic changes that need to happen to allow the business to continue to grow and, and emerge from COVID. So then in terms of those short term goals versus long term goals, and those big ticket strategies, how will CIOs be able to find that balance? COVID gave license to technology to, to make a range of changes that were necessary to allow the business to operate completely remotely and to, to be able to survive and continue operating in a very difficult set of circumstances. And those short term, uh, short term or, or quick win or, or whatever term we, we want to ascribe to them, those projects they, there's been a large volume of those over the last two to three months. I don't expect them to, to go away completely. Uh, I would expect them to be reduced slightly because I think a lot of those more uh, immediate challenges have been met and successfully delivered at this stage. But I would see continuing demand for uh, remote working uh, projects for, for maybe increased levels of collaboration or or communication tools for increased move towards cloud-based services. So, so projects like that, I would expect to continue to be needed. Um, what's more likely to take attention as our minds start to move towards um, operating in a, in a post-COVID world will be what are, those, what are those large technology projects or strategic technology projects uh, that need to happen to help the business succeed in that world. So the CIO really needs to stay close to the business through all of this. And finally, what do you think is the biggest challenge facing CIOs at the moment? The CIO will need to be the, the center point to, to balance the, the need to protect and uh, serve the business in the immediate sense and, and make sure that the business can continue to run and operate successfully as it has been and also allow the the changes the bigger changes that are needed it's great thanks very much Rob. thank you